I'm a professional travel agent. This is day two of my trip to Egypt. This morning we went to the Citadel. Isn't it beautiful? Here we sat and we chilled and we talked all things religion. You can see the pyramids from the top. My guide, she's so cool, she wears Yeezys. And then this guy, he came over and he sang for us. I don't know what he said. I'm pretty sure it had something to do with God. By the way, stay tuned for part two. The Shah of Iran, he's buried here. Who knew? Those are cats. Day two, my trip to Egypt, part two. That's a mummified dog, still has hair. That's King Tut's throne. And that was his fan, and guess what? It rotated. That's a gold box that contained his organs. They always mummified the organs. And that is like uh, box after box after box after box where he was buried, one inside the other. That chair has hinges. Yes, they had hinges in ancient Egypt. That is a beach chair that folded like the ones we have today. That, those are some of his games. That's Amenhotep. She was a pharaoh. And she's like the first canceled person ever. And also, she's kind of transgendered. This is old Cairo. It's gorgeous. This is like where the marketplace are. You go through all these mazes. You can shop. It's awesome. There are like people everywhere, which kind of sucked because of COVID. They have olive harvest. Look at these gorgeous olives. I wanted to buy them all. And then this is the opera house on the Nile. That's the Nile at night. Isn't it gorgeous? That's the pool at my hotel. And then the next one, that's my cat pretending he's the Sphinx. I'm a professional travel advisor, and this is day three, my trip to Egypt. That's me in front of the Bent Pyramid. This is my group. We are three travel advisors and two tour guides, and they're total goddesses, Manal and Fada. And look at this. There's no tourists. You need to come to Egypt right now. There's no tourists here. It's amazing. We have the whole pyramid to ourselves. That is the... That goes down into the middle of the Bent Pyramid. I took a hard pass. I'm too tall. That's the Red Pyramid. That's my group in front of the Red Pyramid. There's the goddess Manal and the goddess Fada. That's me. I'm not a goddess. Then we went to Coptic City. Look at the books. Oh my God, got books. That's the oldest synagogue in the world. And Moses was found there. That lady let me use her bathroom in her apartment. This is inside the church. And wait for it. You go down these stairs and what? Jesus, Joseph, and Mary lived there for three months. Yeah, that Jesus. Okay, then we went to go see the hanging church. It's like sitting on top of, I don't know, four. It looks like it's floating. And this is Amalek. We went there for dinner. That's like some tower that Nasser... I'm a professional travel agent, and this is day three of my trip to Egypt, part one. Props to the photobomber on our plane. We flew to Luxor. We asked some guy to take a picture in front of this sign. All we got was his thumb. Those are the welcome drinks at the hotel. That's some food in my room. There's the view of the Nile from my room. I had a Coke and a Smile at lunch. There's a fountain, and now we're at the Karnak Temple. Wow, this place is so cool. Look at that obelisk. And there's a bunch of rams-headed sphinx with little dudes in front of them. How cute is that? There I am in front of some pylons. They're huge. That was built by King Tut. I have no idea how they know that. Okay, now we're going to talk about Ramses II, a.k.a. Ramses the Great. All these statues are of him. This guy really liked himself. Ramses the Great, that's his cartouche. Now we're going to talk about a hieroglyph. This is crazy. See those guys? You can only see their heads, and they're shrouded behind something. And that dude on the left is Ramses, of course. And he's making the march with erections for his fertility. What the heck is that? That's King Tut, and his wife, her head is cut off. Okay, these are hypostles. And there's some ducks. Look at these apostles. They were sick. That's my friend's. My trip to Egypt, day three, part two, back at the Karnak Temple. Now, we know this guy's a priest because guess what? He's wearing a black panther skin. Okay, now we're going to talk about my girl, Hatshepsut. Remember, she was the female pharaoh who got canceled? Well, look what her asshole son did. There she is. Okay, he tried to scratch off her images. But look, you could still see her. This is in her own temple. You're such an asshole, Tutmosis. You could still see her. What an idiot. Okay, the Romans did that. I thought it was pretty ugly. And that's a beautiful lake that was there. And again, I love ducks. Okay, here's Ramses again with a guy with a penis next to him. What's going on with the penis? You're obsessed. Okay, now we're at the Luxor Temple, and guess who that is? Oh my God, Ramses II. He just loves himself. Look at all the statues of Ramses. Ramses, Ramses, there's his cartouche. Look at these beautiful pillars. Okay, this, look at, there's nobody there. Okay, now, that's a church, and then like they got pissed and put a mosque on top of it. There's Ramses again. Look, there's Saturn. The Romans did that. It was ugly. See that? That's a pharaoh grilling and chilling. That's like the first person barbecuing. Good night. Day five, my trip to Egypt, part one. I'm a professional travel advisor, and today we went to the Valley of the Kings. Look how crowded it was. Oh, my God, it was awful. Anyway, we went to the tomb of King Tut, of course. That was our first stop. Isn't he hot? And, man, the guy could really use a pedicure. Anyway, this is his tomb. We had it all to ourselves. And remember this guy? See him. His name is I, and he's an asshole. You know why he's smiling? Because he knows that he's going to kill King Tut, and 
He's going to be the next pharaoh. Anyway, there's King Tut again. There's his gross feet. He needs a pedicure. There's me and my friends. There's nobody else in there. Look how happy I am. I have it all to myself. I can't stand being around crowds. Anyway, this is the tomb of Ramses III. And look, somebody else was scratched out and canceled. This is Mott. I love her so much. Her feathers are made out of ostrich feathers, which I didn't know. But all ostrich feathers are the same size. This is why she is the goddess of justice and truth. Anyway, here comes another penis. I'm a professional travel advisor, and this is my trip to Egypt Day 5 Part 2. Remember Hatshepsut? We talked about her. She was like the first canceled person ever, and she was also kind of transgender. Her stupid stepson, who came from a concubine, tried to scratch her out. See, right there, he scratched her out. Well, anyway, we went to her temple today. It was amazing. She had like tons of those sphinxes, and there I am in front of it. Look how happy. Oh, see what I did there? Those are people worshiping her, and here she is dressed like a man, and another man, and another man, because she had a like you know, hang with the guys, because it was like all about guys back then. Anyway, that's my friend. She's wearing hijab and holding a cell phone with it. Pretty cool. Now we're in the Rams Museum, and that and that was supposed to look like that. What? This is a town where like the regular people live that built all that shit, and that was their tombs, and they were pretty nice too. That's a sunset on the Nile. There's a crocodile, and that's mummy. I'm a professional travel advisor, and this is my trip to Egypt, day six, which was also Friday the 13th. Here we are at Ed Futel, which is the temple for Horus, the bird god. That's a hippie style. And look, they had a library. Who knew? The Romans, they're such jerks. They try to scratch out all the Egyptian gods, and it looks like shit. Here's a pretty picture. This is the first example of side boob. Look, they're offering the god Horus ice cream and Wi-Fi and martinis. I think that the ice cream is flavored like frankincense and myrrh. Here we are at Komombu, which is another temple for Horus. Man, is he cool. That bird's wearing mittens. It's not even cold out. Here's a calendar. That's 27. That's 28. But that's 29. That shit does not match. Okay, then they mummified their crocodiles. This one looks like Kermit. Then, of course, it's Friday the 13th, so my ring broke. But the goddess Sandy, she was the only one that stopped and helped me find it. And we did find it. Here we are at the market trying to get COVID. Look at all the herbs and spices. Wow, they had Nutella, but they don't call it that. Those are security guards. They have big guns. And there's my hotel.